Hi guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will be explaining RF energy, EU energy, how to convert it, and how to step down EU energy so you don't constantly blow up your machines. This is hopefully going to be a shorter video because it is pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. And I'm just going to jump right in. Um, easiest method to produce any kind of energy in Tech at Legends is solar flux tier 6 panels this is the good stuff that that will set you up permanently that that can fuel everything to tur uh, it produces RF which is good for quarries pumps things like that to convert it into EU which you need for your macerators and whatnot everything in industrial craft easiest way to go about that RF consumer from Power Converters 3, connected to an energy bridge, connected to a producer. And there are producers for pretty much everything. Low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage, EV, which is extreme voltage, uh, steam. You've got RF producers as well, so you can take the output of an industrial craft high voltage solar panel and turn it into RF energy. And I think there's one or two other kinds but I haven't really used them so I, I'm not sure next thing we need to talk about lowest tier industrial craft energy storage that would be your bat box not to be confused with battery box there is a very big difference between these two and a very big difference in the price tag bat box is your basic low voltage power storage so you can hook that up to a low voltage solar panel and you're set. You, you can just slap a macerator right in front of that and you're good to go. Then you've got the MFE, which is medium voltage. You cannot put that directly into a machine. It will explode. I mean, you can, but it will explode if I can find a macerator. What am I doing? Kaboom. <laughs> and then you've got the MFSU, which is high voltage. Kaboom. To make it so that you can use a macerator with medium voltage, high voltage, or even EV, which is extreme voltage, and this is that's a lot of power per tick. That's that's pretty much as much as you can give it at once. To let it be able to use medium and high voltage, you need upgrades. So you've got three different kinds. You've got overclockers, you've got transformers, and then you've got uh, what was that called? Energy storage upgrades. So the basic low voltage can take up to five overclockers before it starts stuttering. And by stuttering, I mean... Oh, wait. I need an overclocker to show you guys this. Sorry. One second. Uh, so that's five. Th this is without any runs pretty slow and then the more overclockers you give it the faster it goes and low voltage can handle up to five before it starts draining the power and once that is once that runs out it'll just stop very noisy next up you've got your m medium voltage yeah sorry I'm brain doesn't want to work. You've got medium voltage. To use medium voltage directly into a machine, you need a single transformer upgrade. That is That upgrade right there is what keeps it from exploding. And then you can use more overclockers, which makes it even faster. And then you've got high voltage. That needs two transformer upgrades, and you can use up to 11 overclockers, which is really quick. And then you've got extreme voltage which needs three transformer upgrades and you can do up to you could probably do more than 14 that's where the energy storage upgrades come into play those let the machine hold more power so it basically turns it into a bat box or an mfe or maybe even an mfsu it lets it store a substantial amount of power so it doesn't run out and this is instant this is pretty much as good as it gets. Next up, stepping it down so that it doesn't blow up your machines. I 
think I started to talk about this and then got super sidetracked. To downgrade from EV to LV so that you can use it in the machine without any upgrades, you need a couple things. You need transformers. So to if you're starting with EV, with an EV producer, you need an EV transformer connected to an HV transformer, connected to an MV transformer, and then ultimately you can connect that to an LV transformer. With transformers, it is the opposite. I didn't talk about that. With transformers, it's the opposite of the EU storage. So if you look at the block, you will notice one of the symbols on the side is a different color. For transformers, that is the input, and everything else is an output. For the storage, like the MFSU, the MFE, the bat box, and the battery box, it is the opposite. Everything is an input except for the one that is colored differently. That is your output. It's not going to run out because it's... Okay. And this is the basic setup for that. I, I kind of showed it over there. This is just using kinesis pipes, so you can put this right up against the machine. EV is tricky because, like I said, you have to use the times 4 insulated HV cable, and that loses a lot of power. I need... How do I... Where's the... Not that... I can't remember what it's called. Detect... There it is. Reader. So, right out of the box, you've got... Never mind, I can't figure that out. Anyways, it, it loses power quickly. So, like, if we ran that just over here from the EV... Okay, so maybe not that quickly. <laughs> it does it does degrade over length, but that, yeah. Anyways, and then the, like I said, this is that with the kinesis pipes, solar panel, emerald kinesis pipe, diamond kinesis pipes into the RF consumer, into the energy bridge, into whatever you want to produce. I'm using EV for the example, and I. Th I think that's it for this one. Yeah, so that's RF and EU Energy, how to produce it and how to convert it. Hope this is helpful. Bye-bye.